Whether you call it iComparable or iComparable, every element and array will have to implement the iComparable interface in order to be able to sort the array. You have to have some way to compare two items in an array to know which one comes first, and if those items implement iComparable, then the .NET framework can do that. Of course, as we mentioned, if items don't implement that, you can provide your own instance of an iComparer class to do the work. But doesn't it get old for both of those interfaces having to supply values of the correct type? I mean, they hand you objects. You have to cast them to the right type in order to perform the comparison. Before .NET Framework 2.0, we had no choice. That's how you did it. Starting with this version of the framework, using the feature named Generics, you can get around that. There are generic versions of these interfaces that hand you exactly the types you need. We didn't cover those here, but in a later section of the course, you'll learn more about generics and how you can take advantage of them to simplify your code.